So I told you I would give you an update on how my last semester is doing and what we're doing for my last semester and how my schedule is going. So let me give you a little rundown. Um, I'm doing, like I said in my last video, community and leadership. And those are my two classes. We have a capstone where we have to work 90 hours with a nurse and she evaluates us. So in my case, my schedule, um, I chose to do my capstone portion at the end of the semester, the last seven weeks. So the first part of the semester, I'm doing my community and public health clinical. And for that clinical, we are going once a week to a senior center and doing patient teaching for seniors um, with stroke prevention. We're teaching them uh, fall risks. We're teaching them um, how to monitor their blood pressure, hypertension, you know, things like that, polypharmacy. And we're going to do that over the course of the next six weeks and spend some time with them. While simultaneously, we have a group project where the community that's uh, where that senior center is, we have to do a whole um, project about the community, all the demographics in the community, like go through everything, all the details of the community. And then we also have to interview a prominent figure in the community. So I am right now trying to get in with uh, the city councilman and see if we can get in and interview him. So a lot going on with community. Um, I also have a lecture every week for community and public health. Um, it's a two and a half hour lecture on Thursdays. So community is pretty, uh, it's a big deal. Like that we have tests in our community lecture and then we have community clinical with the t patient teaching projects. And then we have the um, patient, I mean the group project for the community that we chose to be in. So lots going on with community. Leadership, leadership um, is a lecture once a week. And then the leadership clinical is our capstone where we go and follow a nurse. And uh, I actually got my placement, and I'm so <laughs> excited about it. Uh, I happened to find out because I asked a question, uh, the, I asked the clinical coordinator a, qu a separate question, and then she ended up answering me with what my placement is. So I ended up being placed at my hospital, which is amazing because that's where I really want to work when I graduate the hospital I work for. So I ended up being placed at the hospital I work for and I am placed in the ED. <laughs> so I am just like beyond excited. I really hope I have a good preceptor. But um, I've talked about my career goals a little bit through my other, my other videos. I don't know. I have to look back at my videos and see if I've actually talked about how my goals have changed and what they are now. Um, but when I do, I'm going to make a video about it and just talk about what my like five year plan is for my goals. But my goal includes working in the ED. So for me to have my, my uh, leadership clinical in the ED, it's like the best thing that ever happened to me. I was so excited. Um, it's the highlight of my time at this school. Well, I hope I'm, I'm projecting. I'm just praying that I have a really good preceptor. So um, anyway, so that's leadership. Leadership, we don't have any tests in the lecture. We just have projects. So we have a bunch of projects that we have to do. We have uh, oral presentations and resumes. My teacher's going to do mock interviews with us. So that's really good. Um, so yeah, that's leadership and community. And then I had to take an elective, guys. And... We have um, a business, economics, or political science elective that we have to take. And my school had like nothing that coordinated with my nursing school schedule. So I ended up being placed in constitutional law. And honestly, I was, I'm big into politics, just so you guys know. I'm big into politics. I really enjoy law things. Like people always tell me in my family that I should have gone to law school. Um, I really enjoy that subject. So at first I was intimidated because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in nursing school. Like I don't have time to be worried about a law class. It seems like a lot, a lot of writing, a lot of reading. But then once we got to the class, it was like totally right up my alley. Like everything we're learning about is so interesting to me. And pretty much the class is just taking 
um, you know, di different Supreme Court cases and analyzing them and how they've shaped, you know, our country and, and who we are today as a country. But love it. I'm so excited. So I've had two classes and I'm really enjoying that class. Um, and that's it. So that's what I'm taking this semester. I Oh yeah, and a politics of nursing. I'm taking a politics of nursing class, but it's kind of like dumb. Like we have to interview a nursing leader and whatever. I, it has, we only meet twice this semester and then we do a project. So it's no big deal. But that's my last semester of nursing school in a nutshell. Um, right now I'm in the community portion of my clinicals, but once I start my leadership portion, I will gladly tell you guys how it's going. I will document it and I hope it's as good as I'm projecting in my head that it's going to be. I'm hoping if I just keep putting those positive vibes out there, I'll get an awesome preceptor and I'll get my foot in the door in the ED and all that. So hopefully it works out for me, but I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone's semesters are going well, depending on where you are in the nursing program. If you're just starting or if you're at, you're at the end with me, I know it's stressful. It's hard. You can do this. We're about to be done with this semester and then you'll have summer break. So just keep looking forward to your summer break or your graduation in May and try to stay positive, try to give out good vibes and just try to keep your cool. Remember self-care. Self-care is so important, people. I've made so many videos about it. Self-care. Find those little things throughout the day that you can do or something once a week you can do to take your focus off nursing school and get yourself together. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, I will make another video about my goals because I, like I said, I don't know if I've made one or not. So I'm gonna go back and look at some of my videos and see if I've talked about my five-year plan or how my goals in nursing have changed. And I will definitely make a video on that because I think it's important and um, I think it's cool to hear other people's career paths and goals because uh, it inspires me. So hopefully it'll inspire you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.